What's up guys, Jocelyn Davis here for Clever TV, hanging out on the set of White Frog with Justin Martin. You guys know this guy, remember him from HSM3 back in the day. And now you're getting back into things, but you took a few years off to go to school, which is so cool. I took two years off to, um, my family lives in Atlanta, so I went back to Atlanta. I actually went to regular high school for a couple of years. And that was pretty cool, you know, I, um, I just really, I had done, done like six movies back to back to back. I did um, High School Musical, I did The Soloist with Jamie Foxx, uh, The Express with Dennis Quaid. Um, just some small name yeah. actors, oh, no big no, deal. No, no, no. But, um, <laughs> and I, I never got, I'd always been homeschooled, so I wanted that real school experience. Yeah. So uh, I took a couple years off and uh, I got to experience, you know, prom and I had never been to like a homecoming or anything. So that was cool, but uh, now I'm back into the swing of things and I'm working and uh, so yeah. So what was it about White Frog that really pulled you in where you're like, okay, now's the time, I want to jump back into this. Was there something about your character that really drew you in? I mean, uh, well, my character Cameron, uh, he's just really, really cool. He, um, in the script, he, uh, you mentioned when you saw me that, that I dress nice. This isn't in my like clothes. Uh, this is Cameron's clothes. In the script, he's like the most stylish out of yeah. all the friends. I but heard he I mean, has swagger. Yeah, he I has, love that word. Lots of swag, lots of swag. <laughs> so I'll be looking out for some cool outfits. And uh, he's just a real cool guy. Initially, um, the guys in the group uh, are kind of standoffish to Boo Boo's character. But, you know, me and Doug kind of bring him in and, you know, are the friendliest ones to him. But, you know, he's a real fun character. And you can definitely tell, I've been on set now for a few hours, that all of you guys are having a good time together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know each other before, or did no, you kind of just all meet? Thing. Like, we never met before this, um, well, I'd never met anybody before yeah. this project, and uh, we're already clicking so well, and we, all, we're all, we share good laughs and have a lot of fun on set, so I enjoy coming to work. Who would you say is like the class clown on this set? Definitely Tyler. Tyler yeah. is definitely the goofball out of all of us. He's just always adding in extra lines, making us break character on, on, on camera, and we're always laughing when he's around. So yeah, definitely. It seems like a lot of fun. And also, it was so cool to hear that you know you work closely with someone that we really love, and, and you're kind of friends through the rap industry, Jacob Lattimore, yeah, right? That's my, that's oh my, my little God. brother. We're, uh, we're actually signed to the same production label, Crown World. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I'm a rapper on the label and um, yeah, that's my little homie. Yeah. That is so cool. So can we be expecting like an album or yeah, some sort of release from you soon? Um, I'm actually uh, meeting with a lot of big record labels right now, closing the deal and I'm uh, working on my mixtape, working on my album. And actually me and Jacob did a song together, so you can be expecting that coming out soon too. Oh, that is so cool. And I'm also curious because of the High School Musical connection, is there anyone in all of like High School Musical history that you would love to collaborate with musically in the future? Because um, I know a lot of them are, you know, doing music still. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, Vanessa and Ashley, those are two great singers, so uh, I'd love to do a song with them. Uh, actually, any, Zach, anybody, yeah. anybody, definitely. That yeah. is so cool. What is your sound, like your vibe like, musically um, speaking? Uh, kind of like B.O.B.-ish, um, that type of rap, yeah. Very, very cool. And also, you did slightly touch on this. Cameron, just to get back to your character for a second, great style. Yeah. I mean, so what do you think this whole swagger thing means? Because I feel like everybody has a different definition of it. What does it mean um, to you? Well, swag, I think, the thing is, I think swag kind of ties into White Frog. You know, the movie White Frog is all about being different. Uh, it says we, um, as you can see, all the main characters were all different. You know, me, I'm African American. Boo Boo's plays the Asian character. We're all different and diverse. And um, Boo Boo's character is dealing with Asperger's. So it really just shows people it's okay to be different. And when swag comes in, it's just you know having your own different style. You know, whatever whatever floats your boat. Yeah. Swag isn't about you know, a, a particular swag, it's just yeah. your own swag, so. Exactly. Yeah. Now before we wrap things up, I have to say it's hilarious, all the wolf pack connections in this yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have any wolf aspirations in I've the future? Always, actually, I've always wanted to play a vampire. I've always wanted to play a vampire. I, my favorite show is Vampire Diaries. Oh. So, and I'm oh waiting there on Are high you team edge. Stefan or team Damon? Uh, I was team Stefan in the beginning, but now I'm kind of leaning towards team Damon because he just changes up so much. So, um, man, we could talk about Vampire Diaries all day. Oh my but God. White Frog, make sure you check it Very out next cool. year. Very yeah. cool. I like how we tie that up. Well, thank you so much for letting us hang out thank on you, set today. You. And of course, I'm so excited about your music. Yeah. That's so cool. All of you guys out there watching, make sure to stick with Clever TV for all the latest in entertainment. Thanks for watching. Follow See you later. Oh. It's Justin Martin. At yeah. It's Justin Martin. At It's Justin Martin. You heard it here. Bye, guys.